Hey guys, it's Brandon, aka The Brando Critic, and we're back at the Cloverdale Flea Market. The last time I was here was the first day it opened after the quarantine, and now, I don't know if you can see it from here, but there's a giant lineup outside, so it looks like it's gonna be a pretty packed flea market, so hopefully I can find some good deals, so let's go. So right off the bat, you can tell that it is a much, much, much busier. Uh, COVID isn't doing uh, that badly up here, so I'm not too worried, but look at this marble sign. That is a, man, that is a thick, Thick. It's like a thick plastic sign. I need to ask how much that is. Very cool. So this is the guy who sells Blu-rays for ten dollars each. So I'm curious to see what new stock he has in store. Here we go. I finally saw that. Great movie. Mm. So good. Ooh. There's parts of this movie I really like. Parts of it I don't, but you know, in my collecting phase, it's like, you know what you want? You need want to own all of them. Exactly. Still recognize them. Still recognize them. Yeah. Thank you so much. It's funny. Every time I come here, you know, you look at, you just look around to see if you can find anything cool. But there's always that one or two stands you always go back to, and people say, "Oh, did he steal them? Are they fake?" I don't know if he stole them or not, but whatever. That's his business. But they're completely legit. And I've come here for many times. So, Cloverdale Flea Market. That's where you can find some good deals on some Blu-rays. But let's find some more. HD DVD. Those didn't last very long. <laughs> Good to see you again. Yeah. Oh, it's getting there. <laughs> day by day. Yeah, it looks like pretty busy today. Looks like it's on full it's force. It's busy, but is it not very, you don't sell a whole lot. There's no one in here really at a time. Have you seen this? Yeah. Yeah. Very yeah. underrated. Yeah, I like that movie. I have it on DVD, but you know what? It's I, I'll support that movie. That's a good TV movie. Yeah. It's one that I don't mind watching, just like, if it's on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you do a reaction with the, with the glasses, the glasses on? on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I haven't seen that either. Oh, dude, that movie is, that's one of the funniest movies I've ever seen. You said you haven't seen that one? I've, I've not seen Pain and Game, no.
everybody. So this haul is definitely not as big as my last one when I went to Penticton, but I did get quite a few great Blu-rays, but I also got this hat, an NBC hat. It was only a dollar. I think it's pretty sweet. So I went to that guy who sells Blu-rays for $10 each, and I was able to get I, Tanya, Ford v Ferrari, and Terminator Dark Fate. Now, I know that I'm not the biggest fan of this movie, but that collector brain in me says, you know what, it has some good parts. And if you're a Terminator fan, you may want to watch it again. So I want to give this movie another shot. But then I went to the other tent where the guy actually knows me. And he's like, hey, Brando Critic. And he always gives me a great deal. So there I got Pain and Gain, Coraline. Can't wait to watch this for Halloween. American Psycho. Some of these are just, you know, upgrades from DVD to Blu-ray, such as Slumdog Millionaire and Sleepy Hollow. And Yes Man. And to finish off my Hobbit trilogy, and again, I haven't seen these since the theaters, and I think it'd be fun to give these movies another shot, would be Honest with the Journey, and this cool little, let me get this out, this interesting case. Desolation of Smaug, The Usual Suspects, and Troy. So anyways guys, if you guys like this video and want to see more videos just like it, definitely hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.